everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and before we get started, a couple of things. You get a double dose of live me. Yeah, I know, pretty damn scary, right? First off, 8 p.m. Friday on Spreecast.com. I'll put the link down below to the exact broadcast. I will be live, 8 p.m. Central Time. That's right, Mark the Movie Man live with his show. I changed the name from Friday. It, it's going to be called The First Take. That's right, catch The First Take with Mark the Movie Man, 8 p.m. Central Time, Friday. Should be a lot of fun. Also, catch me on 10 a.m. Sunday on the Dixon Cider Show. Yes, the fine gentlemen there have asked me back to cuss and discuss the Avengers as well as the upcoming summer movie blockbusters. And if you can't catch that, they'll have the audio recording posted on Wednesday. Lots of fun and lots of excitement coming up. Hope to see you there because I'd love to talk to you guys live. Now, on to today's show, which is of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, or as I like to call it, the movie I'm kicking myself for not seeing in the theater. Finally got around to see it, and it's brought to us by director Brad Bird, who tells us the story of uh, Ethan Hunt's crew and um, the Mission Impossible crew, okay, basically, and uh, they've been disavowed after certain uh, tragic events, and they go and basically spend the movie to clear their name. That's basically it. Not a huge, deep plot here, but you don't need that for a film like this. And you've got Brad Bird proving he can direct more than just animated characters. Folks, this film from start to finish was just a lot of fun, nonstop. Doesn't really have many any lulls in it whatsoever. It's exactly what you want from a popcorn action film, okay? You got some great zingers in there by everybody, but especially Simon Pegg, having him in there. But he's not too overly goofy, okay? But he's just enough to keep it a little bit lighter in moments where you kind of need that part, okay? Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt, man, he came back with a vengeance in this role took it over and just had so much fun with it, doing his own stunts on the top of a really freaking tall building. I mean, he, you know, he's crazy, but it looked freaking awesome on camera, right? This, in fact, this whole film looked freaking awesome on camera, especially uh, Paula Patton. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, everybody had some great chemistry from Jeremy Renner's character, who was a great addition to this group. Uh, his chemistry with, uh, you know, Tom Cruise and the, the way those two characters kind of had their uh, uh, interactions was great. I loved that bit the villain was okay just a villain but this was more again about the crew more so than the villain okay the the threat was there but this is more about the dynamic and the interactions and how this mi crew worked together to clear their name folks mission impossible ghost protocol is not oscar material by any means but it is a fun action adventure comedy got all little bits that you want in it perfectly directed by brad bird and well acted by everyone involved they know what type of film they're making and they do it well it's visually stunning and you just can't help but sit back eat your popcorn and enjoy this show i gave it four and a half stubs okay definitely probably for me the best and favorite out of the franchise to be sure and i think it will be one of the more enjoyable films you see in case you're looking for something that you haven't watched yet and if you have watched it you know what i'm talking about and that about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket